So turn the ignition off and then on. You're not getting away on that thing either. There you go. Got it. Welcome back, guys, to the vlog. We're going to get started, but before, please press that like button, subscribe, share the video, do whatever the hell you want, but please do not leave the channel uh, before doing all those three things. I will appreciate that. Today's episode is going to be short and sweet. My buddy Dustin called me. Uh, he wants to pull his base map out of the epexy before he's selling the the ecu to somebody else and i was like yeah sure he he don't have the software he didn't know how to do it and i was like hey that's another excuse for the channel to have another diy things that you need to be able to pull the map that i log it you need the software fc edit you need a laptop and you need the serial cable all right let's get this started All right, basically, once you get everything connected, data logic in to the laptop, you need the software. And basically what you wanna do is turn the ignition on and then hit read all. All right, once you hit the read all uh, button, an, a new window is gonna pop up. It will tell you the order that you have to do in order to connect the ECU to the software. So Dustin, could you uh, turn the ignition on? Mm -hmm. All right, take ignition on, then press okay. And now the software is gonna read the ECU. So, turn the ignition off and then on. You're not getting away on that thing either. There you go. Got it. All right. So now, you see this tab on top? Now you're supposed to see the actual map. This is injector map. and the uh, ignition map and then the settings setting one, setting two, setting three, four so if you make any adjustment on the map you always can for example is to reach on this specific cell or area you can always do the modification and click right. And if you like did modifications here, on the ignition, or an auto, any other place, you can just go and write all to update the map. And then make sure that you save it after. On this tab is where you can see the split. And you basically you go file save as and then in this case I'm just gonna type dusting And press save. And that's it. Apexi is old technology. It's not like I thought it was gonna be. Uh, the one that I have on the RSX right now is Honda K Pro, and basically the only thing that I do is I plug 
the USB cable from the ECU to the laptop and as long as I have the drivers installed in the laptop uh, you can open it in the software that's not how the Apex is you need uh, a lot of more uh, hardware and stuff before back in the day uh, there were two data logged one was beige the other one was black uh, black is the the latest one uh, and the beige only work with the FD3S it was the software that was the version uh, back in the day and then they moved to the FC edit which is a universal and that's the one that you can use with the black there's a lot of information in RX7 Club uh, Chuck and Raymond constantly were putting uh, a lot of information and that's how I kind of learn a little bit more of Apexi. I'm going to post down below uh, another link that there's a uh, good information that Chuck uh, posted and it's how to identify the PFC uh, versions based on the year of the RX7. If you want to know more information you can go to RX7 Club. I, I'm going to post the links and there's a lot of information there that Chuck and Raymond posted. Uh, there's an Excel sheet that you can identify, the air to fuel ratio. There's, there's a lot of good information. I contact Chuck to know more because I wanted to tune my car, at least a street tune. And he gave me the email for Raymond. Uh, he's the one that has the secret group in Yahoo for the PFC, uh, the Apexi. There's, again, a lot of material there. So contact him if you want to know more info. There's a lot of things that you can do with the Apexi. However, if you don't know what are you doing, don't touch it, don't mess with it. You're gonna end up without an engine. So comment below and tell me which uh, engine management do you prefer more and why. Let, let's have a conversation. I probably gonna uh, get rid of Apexi as soon as I get back to the States, but for now, that's what I got. Well guys, this is it for today's episode, please hit the like button, subscribe, let me know if this was helpful for you, let me know about the NG management that you like, and that's it guys, until the next episode, bye. One more thing guys, I'm trying to do a video compilation of rotary engine uh, sound if you want to be featured in my channel uh, send me a video clip of your car idle uh, if you bridge semi peripheral whatever you have send me the video clip if you have any qu questions you can contact me on instagram tony west diy or you can even send me an email tony west diy at gmail.com thank you